Hi there, this is Elon from MetroBoard, and today I'm going to show you how to use these white calibration knobs on the remote. You may have noticed that there's two knobs. There's one on the left that's labeled ST trim, and then one on the right that's labeled throttle trim. Now you may need to adjust these if your board is making beeps or the, the wheel is moving when you're not doing anything, either with a throttle trigger or with the steering wheel. So if it's making beeps or the wheel is moving uh, without you doing anything, then you'll need to adjust these knobs. I'm going to show you how in this video. So I'm going to intentionally mess with these knobs just to show you what can happen sometimes just due to temperature variation or sometimes if the knobs get bumped. So I'm going to start with the one on the left, which is the steering trim knob. So I'm going to rotate it clockwise. And now you can see that, or you can hear it, it's starting to make the battery gauge beeps, which is the same beeps it makes when you rotate the steering wheel to the right. So if you're hearing the battery gauge beeps, the way you correct that is you rotate this steering trim knob, the one on the left, counterclockwise until it stops. You can take a little screwdriver using your hand, whatever's easier. Okay, now at a certain point you'll see it stops. Now you don't want to go too far because then it's going to start making the bell beep. So if I go too far, it's going to do the same thing as if I turn the steering wheel to the left. See, it's starting to make the bell beeps now. So you want to find that middle spot where it's not making either beeps, kind of halfway in between the two. Okay, so just kind of find that sweet spot where it's not making the bell beeps and it's not making the battery gauge beeps, and you should be good to go. Now the other thing you can sometimes see is the same issue but with the throttle. So if for example, and again I'm going to mess with the knob by intentionally, so this is the one on the right that's labeled TH trim, which is throttle trim. If you see the wheels moving, and again I'm going to mess with it intentionally. Okay, so you just rotate it a bit. Oops. Okay, so now the wheel is moving a little bit in the forward direction, even though I'm not doing anything with the trigger. So if this happens, the way you correct for that is you rotate the throttle trim knob clockwise till it stops, okay? And you want to go just to the point where it just stops moving, or maybe a little bit past that. If you go too far, you won't be able to reach the full speed when you pull the trigger fully in. So let's see what happens, okay? Let's say I went too far on that. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit further. It's still not moving, right? But when I pull it all the way in, I can hear it's not at the full speed now. So what we want to do is while we're pulling it full in, so you hear the speed level out. Now let go of the trigger. Make sure it's still not moving when the throttle is in the, or sorry, when the trigger is in the neutral position. So if it's still moving, then you need to go a little bit more counterclockwise. I'm sorry, clockwise, till uh, it stops moving. However, if you don't reach the full speed when you pull, pull the trigger full in, you may need to rotate this a bit counterclockwise till you get to that constant full speed and the trigger fully put in. At the same time, if when you turn the board on, the, the wheel is going in reverse, okay, so let's do that intentionally, okay, we're going to rotate this now clockwise, which will make it go in reverse at a certain point. Okay, so now it's going in reverse. Let's say you turn the board on, it's going in reverse. You need to adjust the throttle trim knob, which is the one on the right, counterclockwise, till it stops. But again, you need to go far enough that it you don't lose the full top speed when you pull the trigger in. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit more to the point where it just starts to move forward. And then I'm going to back it out just a, back, a bit. So now I'm, I'm rotating it uh, clockwise after I initially rotated it counterclockwise just to the point where it stops moving. Again, I'm going to check again. I pull the trigger full in. And now it's going to full top speed. So that's how I know that I've adjusted it correctly. And then let go and make sure it's not moving. Okay. So that's all there is to it to adjust the uh, calibration knobs on the RC RF remote for the Metro Board Electric Skateboard. Hi there. So the other thing I wanted to show you today is how to rebind a new RC remote. So either if you lose your remote and we send you a replacement, you're going to need to basically rebind it so that the receiver on the skateboard will accept the signal from the new remote. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So as you may notice here, um, it's not obvious, but there's a little bind extension connector right here. It's basically on the, on the back of the battery box, kind of facing the drive wheel. It's kind of tucked in where the foam is. So when you get a new remote, we're going to send you this little bind plug here, which is just a little black connector with kind of a, uh, a little loop on it. And it's basically just a way to do this binding procedure. So you're going to want to basically stick this bind plug into the connector, which is over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And it only goes in one way. If it doesn't go in one way, then you should try it the other way. And you want to do this with the board turned off.
might have to play with it a little bit, but if you get it just the right angle, it should go in. Okay. I think we're in. No, we're not in. Let's try that again. Okay, we're finally in. It's a little tricky because you can't really see it, but once you get it in, you'll know and you can kind of see that it can't go in any further. So, right now we got the bind plug in the bind connector here. And what we want to do is we want to keep the remote off for now, okay? And this is the new remote, the one that you want to bind to. Go ahead and turn the skateboard on. Okay, and now once it's on, you want to press, there's a little black button on the remote just below the white knob. And it says, bond, or it says pair on it. So you want to hold that down and at the same time turn on the on off switch, okay? And you can see that the red light flashes and then it becomes solid. And once it becomes solid, it's now bound uh, to the receiver and it should work. So let's check that out. Okay. It's working. Now, the one thing I want to do is if for some reason it's either making the beeps or the uh, uh, the bell beeps or the battery gauge beeps or the throttles moving, you need to adjust the throttle trim knob, okay, or the steering trim knob as I showed earlier in the video. And then once that's set in the right position, this is a very important step, you need to do what's called setting the fail safe. So basically this will determine how the remote, how the board behaves when uh, the remote either lo loses the connection either because the batteries are low or there's some kind of interference, which doesn't usually happen, but if it does, it'll tell the skateboard what to do in that situation. So it's very important that you adjust the, the, the white knobs so there's no bell beeps and that the motor, no bell beeps or no um, battery gauge beeps and also that the motor is not driving the drive wheel. And once you get in that position, what you gotta do is, to complete the binding process, is you have to basically pull out the bind plug. So leaving everything on the way after you've just paired it, go ahead and pull out the bind plug, okay? And that will set the fail safe. So exactly at that moment where you pulled out the bind plug, that's what it's going to do when you lose connection with the remote. So let's go ahead and test this now. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and then back on again. Okay, the remote's still on. Everything's working as normal. Now to check that the failsafe is actually working, I'm going to intentionally turn the remote off, which will lose the connection. And as you can see, the wheel doesn't move and the bell beeps or the battery gauge beeps aren't happening. And that's exactly what you want it to do. You want it to not do anything unexpected when you lose the connection. So very important to, to not forget that step of pulling the bind plug out with the throttle um, adjusted and also the, the steering trim adjusted so that there's no bell beeps or battery gauge beeps and that the drive wheel does not move. And that will ensure that in the event that the batteries are low on the remote or that if for some reason there's ever interference that the uh, scaper won't move unexpectedly and you won't hear any unexpected beeps as well. Thanks for listening.